Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn how to make your own sticker sheets using the kiss cut technique, you've come to the right place. The process can be a little bit overwhelming, so I'm going to explain everything in details. So grab your supplies and let's get started. I will be printing out my sticker sheets using the Canon Pixma inkjet printer and I will cut them using the Cricut Maker cutting machine. And of course the sticker paper. In this tutorial I will be using the one with the matte finish. Great, so I will create my sticker sheet design using the free web-based design application called Figma. You can definitely follow along since Figma is quite intuitive and easy to learn. I've already created a new design file called sticker sheet and now I will be importing my individual elements or my stickers into the file and creating the canvas. For the sake of this video, I have downloaded the sticker designs from the marketplace offering vector graphics. So I have simply dragged and dropped all the elements which I'm planning to use on my sticker sheet into the Figma file. There are some little elements and some bigger ones, so I hope it will fill the whole page. So now let's set up our canvas where we're going to be placing our elements. We can do that by creating a frame, uh, by choosing frame from the upper menu in Figma or pressing F on your keyboard. The dimensions of the frame are going to depend on the size of the sticker sheet you want to create. I'm going to stick to the A5 format, so this is 1748 pixels by 2480 pixels. Please keep in mind that our final product is going to be significantly smaller since print and cut technique is going to cut off a little bit of our sticker sheet. Um, I don't consider it to be necessarily a bad thing since uh, smaller sticker sheets are much cuter in my opinion. I have resized some of my elements in order to position them better on the sticker sheet frame. You can basically arrange them in a type of a grid or any other layout which suits your needs. Figma has various alignment and distribution tools which will help you to position the stickers accurately. In order to provide a little bit of the context and indicate the name of my sticker sheet, I have created a rectangle which will act as a kind of a label for my sticker sheet. I have changed its color and also uh, typed a sticker sheet and its name on top of it. Alright, so now let's export uh, the files. The first file we will need is the one with the background, so we will export it as PNG. Then we will go ahead and remove the fill and export the frame once again. The file without the background will help us create the cut files and the one with the white background will be used for printing. In order to create the cut files, we will import our uh, file without the background into Procreate and go to the layers panel in order to disable the background color which was automatically enabled by Procreate. I will then swipe the layer with the sticker sheet to the left in order to duplicate it, go to the adjustment panel and enable the Gaussian blur. By dragging your pencil to the right or to the left, we will be able to adjust the level of the Gaussian blur. I have left it at around 7%, so not that much. Right after that, click on the selection tool in the upper bar. Make sure it's on automatic and the add option is enabled. Tap on the canvas outside of your design in order to enable this kind of uh, blue background and a small outline around your design. You can once again adjust your outline by dragging your Apple Pencil uh, on the canvas. As the last step in the selection menu, click Invert. Without exiting the menu, click on the Layers panel and create a new layer. Tap on it and select the Fill Layer option. Your layer is now filled with the color which was uh, selected. You can obviously change this color, but it doesn't matter that much since we're going to be using this um, outline for our cut files. Keep in mind that these gray shapes are going to be the um, elements which are going to be cut out by our Cricut machine. So uh, for example, I don't want this uh, label on top of my sticker sheet to be cut out. I just want it to be uh, printed out. Uh, so I'm going to erase it uh, so that uh, the Cricut does not treat it as the cut file. 
Great, and that's pretty much. I'm going to export my file as PNG and send it back to my computer so that I can upload it to Cricut Design Space. So I will choose our PNG CAD file, which we have just imported from Procreate and upload it as complex image type. After clicking continue and apply and continue, I will choose the CAD image as the upload type, since this is the file which we're going to be using as the CAD. And the next one is going to be our PNG file with the uh, colored background and our label on top. And this is the file which we will upload as print then cut since this is exactly what we are going to be printing out. Let us select the two files and add them to our canvas. So it is now time to resize our sticker sheet to the actual size we want it to be. I'm going to adjust mine to 10.4 by 14.8 centimeters. We will then drag our cut file on top of our print then cut image and the trick is to align these gray shapes perfectly on top of our printed image so that our stickers are cut out with a small white outline around them. The trick I'm using here is actually selecting the cut file and changing the operation to pan so that I can actually see what's underneath the cut files and uh, align the outline less or more perfectly. This black outline is going to define where our Cricut is going to be uh, cutting our sticker, so please remember that. Once we're satisfied with the result, don't forget to change the operation to basic cut. And ta-da! It's ready! We will move the cut file under our print, then cut image, and it's done. So we're basically going to fit two sticker sheets on uh, our A4 sticker paper. And to cut those sticker sheets out, um, so to say, as two separate pieces of paper, I'm going to use this little trick where I'm basically creating the rectangle with the size of the actual sticker sheet and put it over my sticker sheet to make sure it's perfectly aligned and then move it underneath all of my other layers. So basically this rectangle will act as a cut shape and it means that your Cricut will go over those uh, black outlines once again. So obviously we want our little stickers on the sticker sheet to be cut out as a kiss cut. So it means that the backing paper will stay there, but the sticker sheet itself, so this rectangle kind of shape, we want it to be cut out as a die cut sticker, as a standalone sticker, so to say. Unfortunately, there's no way, or at least no way known to me, on how you can adjust that your stickers will be cut out as a kiss cut and then your sticker sheet itself is going to be cut out as a die cut. So what I will do is uh, duplicating this rectangle shape at least five times so that my Cricut machine will go over this outline five times and it will eventually cut it out as a die cut sticker. So once again, I'm simply duplicating this rectangle shape, which I have previously created. I will make sure that it goes over my actual sticker sheet and then I will move all the new five layers underneath my print then cut image and my cut image. Okay, so let us now select all of our uh, files and duplicate them by clicking Command D. We'll duplicate this whole sticker sheet and position it next to our first one. Select them all and click Attach. Proceed to clicking Make it and let's prepare our files for printing. After pressing Send to Printer, make sure that your Add Bleed option is disabled and System Dialog is on. Once Cricut opens the uh, new window on your computer, save your file as PDF and open it up in order to adjust the print settings. When printing out your sticker sheet, make sure that the scale is uh, at 100%. I also like changing the quality to best and the media type to photo paper.
little quality check before sending our stickers to cutting. Since my sticker paper is quite thin, I'm going to choose the lightest cut possible, which is the washi sheet. I will leave the pressure at default and judging from the experience, this is the best setting for my case cut stickers. Let us stick the sheet to the Cricut mat and load it into the cutting machine. At this point you can kind of see how the Cricut uh, machine is going over the outlines of our sticker sheet um, multiple times in order to cut it out as the die cut. Great, so let's unload the mat and see how the stickers turned out. You always want to remove your mat off your finished product in order to avoid the damaging and the curling of the sticker paper. As you can see here, my measurements were a little bit off and I ended up having a little white outline, so I'm going to cut it off uh, manually. Great, so our sticker sheet is ready. I'm happy with the final result. It turned out really cute and I like the matte finish. What I sometimes like doing is removing this uh, sticker paper around my stickers so that I only have the backing paper and my stickers. Uh, it also has a kind of a charm of its own so you can experiment with the final look of your sticker sheet. The sticker sheet obviously has a lot of room for improvement. I can see that the outline is not so uh, even so this is something I'm going to be uh, working on uh, in the future but uh, obviously if this is just for personal use um, I like it the way it is. So thank you so much for watching this video once again and if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time!